Well, it looks like I've got everything. I've got the key to my new place. It's May 1st. I can move in any time. Thanks for coming over to give Maul support. Are you doing okay? Oh, I'm counting down the days. I'm too pooped to be much help. Oh, that's okay. I've got everything. It's kind of sad to move, though. I'll miss Maureen. Oh, before I forget, I have something important to ask you. Oh, sure. What is it? Carl and I would like for you to be our baby's godparent. Wow, I'm honored. Carl? Well, I had to have a talk. But eventually he understood how important this is to me. Well, are you sure you want an unmarried godparent? Oh, I can't think of anyone else I'd rather raise my baby. You are unable to. Besides, <coughs> you might not be un unmarried for long. You never know when Ma will show up. If it helps, I've heard things aren't going very well between him and Renee. Well, that's not surprising. <laughs> I guess it's just something he had to do. Maybe this is the only way he can get her out of his system, getting kicked in the teeth a few more times. Yeah, kind of like Charlie Brown, always thinking Lucy will hold the football for him. Yeah. And then she jerks it away at the last minute every time. By the way, I've always kind of wondered, what do you see in Bob? I don't really get it. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. And it's surprising to me, too. It's not just what's on the surface. Although I think he is good looking and a nice guy and funny. But I guess I'm also looking under the surface. What do you mean? Well, under all his weaknesses, under all that unexamined mundane life he's been leading, I see this incredible <coughs> being there. A joy of life, a kindness. When you strip away all that superficial stuff, it's like he's a, a kindred spirit. I get this sense that we've known each other in a past life. Wow. <coughs> How about you and me? Oh, yes, us too, all of us. This isn't the first time we've been together in life. The relationships may change. Father, mother, lover, sister, friend. But the connection is there. Sometimes I feel it really strongly. And I have this intuition that Bob and I will be together for a long time. Wow. If you got married, then you'd be my sister-in-law. Awesome. Oh, that would be. Well, we'll see. So, are you in love with Bob? Oh, I try really hard not to fall in love. But I think I have. It's just so frustrating. Sometimes I can't get past what a jerk he can be. And, uh, well, <clears throat> I missed my period this month. Oh my god! Bob? Bob. 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 Thanks for going to church with me, Marnie. I had hoped Bob would come too, but maybe he'll be over later. Oh, I'm glad to go to church with you, Mom. Especially on Mother's Day. Seems like you've been going to church a lot more often than you used to. Yes, since your dad passed, it's, it's so strange to think of Mother's Day without him here. We haven't talked about Dad at all. I guess I've kind of been avoiding the subject. I miss him so much. Me too. I've been so wrapped up in my life, I haven't even asked about you. How are you holding up? It's been really hard, as you know, but life goes on. I've worked through a lot of it. I'm doing better each day. Thanks for asking. How's it been for you? I think I've been in a lot of denial about Dad. Also some anger, which I probably took out on Carl. Mostly, though, I'm just overwhelmed with the excitement. <coughs> baby is dominating my life right now. Oh, yes, this is your first Mother's Day. <laughs> hey, tell me about it. After going through this, I've really come to appreciate you, Mom. You went through this twice. Oh, I don't know how I would do this without you. Thanks for being there. Uh, six more weeks? How am I going to do that?
son return. Hi, Bob. Hi, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I'm surprised Renee let you off your leash long enough to come over. Well, thank you, Princess Leia. <laughs> yeah, it was a fight, but I'm here. Sorry I missed church, Mom. Oh, that's okay. I'm beginning to think that Renee's having an affair. <laughs> that was quick. Didn't she cheat on you before when you were married? Yeah. Well, I think you'll figure out what you need to do. But if you want some motherly advice about Renee, just say no. <laughs>
my mom to give us an anniversary party. I can't believe our wedding cake still tasted good after a year in the freezer. What a year! I remember how happy my dad was to walk me down the aisle. He was so worried about me. That was a great day. I remember how in love I felt standing up there next to you. It didn't even matter that the wedding was in a church. <laughs> well, my dad insisted. I'm glad he didn't really believe you were an atheist or he would have never given his blessing. <laughs> I think he just figured that if you were raised in this country, you were a Christian. Marnie, I, I want to thank you for your patience with me this year. I, I know I haven't really been hearing you or paying as much attention to you as I should, and I apologize for not being there for you. I, I guess I have been pretty selfish, but I do love you. Oh, and I love you too. I'm sorry for coming down so hard on you. I guess you're right. Maybe I've been taking out some of my issues with my dad on you. I'm so sad he's gone and so happy that we're married. I know that you're making an effort to hear me. What was our <coughs> wedding song? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love never fails. Oh, I love that song. <coughs> Will you sing it with me tonight? Okay, if I can remember it. I, I always thought it was ironic that our wedding song was from a text in the Bible. I guess this is one thing the Bible got right. Yeah. Look, here are the words. I found the program from our wedding. Great. Let's see. How did it go? <laughs> Bob needs some help. 
He's been kind of lost since you left us. Speak to him, will you? I know he'll listen to you. Marnie's baby is due any time in the next few weeks now. She can't wait. <laughs> I know you would have been a proud grandfather. And I've been enjoying our new son-in-law, Carl. He's very funny in his own way and is devoted to Marnie. Although they have a lot of things to work out. He'll make a great dad. I know you were worried about her for so long. Of course, she's still trying to figure out what's true and not true about religion. I guess you are too in a way now, aren't you? Oh, and believe it or not, Janice has moved back to town. She's become like a member of the family. We've been celebrating a lot of holidays together. I don't think I could bear to celebrate them alone. You'll be surprised to hear that I've been going to church a lot. It makes me feel close to you, and I've been exploring the feminine side of God. Oh, I know how you would have howled with laughter when you were here, but maybe not anymore. Robert, I love you. I've always loved you. I dream about you at night. I feel your presence, and I know you're with me. Thank you for being my husband and the life we had together. I'm sure I didn't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. Life together was such an adventure for us. I know neither of us was perfect, but it doesn't matter anymore. You were a wonderful husband. Thank you. <laughs> She's a bisexual, 
and being bisexual didn't stop Marty from marrying Carl. Well, that's true. Does Janice want to get married? I think part of it does. She wants to settle down and have kids and a family. Well, that's something you have in common. Well, we have a lot more in common than that. We both love the music. We get into some pretty deep conversations. It's like she can see right into my soul. It's awesome. She's not like anyone I've ever met. Oh, me neither. So, you're in love with Janice, and you're on the hook with Renee. And if you drop one of them, you're not really sure you have a future with the other one. Yeah, I guess so. Well, meanwhile, your life is even more out of whack than last year. Things okay at work? Barely. I wish I had all the answers for you. Mother knows best. But I think you're going to have to find the answers yourself. I suppose your father would know what to say. Yeah. Well, you know, when your father got stuck, he would pray. He especially liked the Lord's Prayer. Will you pray with me? I think it'll help. Absolutely. I owe you an apology. 
I owe everyone an apology. Where's my head been for the last two and a half months? I hope you'll give me another chance. Well, I'm really happy for you, Bob. So, does this mean you're actually leaving, Renee? I'm out of there. For the last time, I know for sure she's not my future. I'm going to get my own place and start over. And I could use a friend. I'm yours. Hey, everyone, it's midsummer. Tonight, the fairies are out, and magic is afoot. Fairies? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Well, if you don't believe, you can't see them. I believe! That fairies. <laughs> At midsummer, when the fairies dance, anything can happen. They're very mischievous, you know. <laughs> Bob, it's, it's for you. It's Renee.
suggestion. Sophia is the goddess of wisdom. Right on! What is the world coming to? Well, so what's happening with you guys? Oh, well, uh, we're, we're still trying to figure that out. As mom would say, life goes on. Yes, it does. <laughs>